Welcome back to another video. We are still with Mike Garrett. Mike, who uh, recently found fame and success on Beer Masters. <laughs> you found success? Come on, we did. Two bronze and a silver. Two bronze. It was, yeah, it was a good effort. It was a good very good effort. effort. Was, yeah. yeah I raised my almost empty glass to you. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> So I I binged watched it. I, I yeah. watched it yeah, um, in a in a whole in a, in a morning. And it, yeah. yeah, it was. I really liked it. Mm. Um, I think I was ill off work when I was watching it, so it was great. It just came along at the right time. <laughs> it. It's a shame there's only five episodes. I was looking at it. It can't be only five episodes long. It, I, I I think it was just about the right length. If you're for a lot of people I spoke to, the sort of non-brewing fraternity mm. find it an absolute fascinating insight into into home brewing. Um, that I think. People that brew would have liked a little bit more, as you said, would have liked a bit more, a bit nuts more in depth, a bit yeah, more nuts yeah, and yeah. bolts. You know, why, why have we done it? Does home brewers on the whole really liked it? Like the feedback I've, yeah. I've seen has, has, all, has all been really, really good. But yeah. you, like you said, they, they felt that they, they wanted to get like the to nitty gritty, what, what, yeah, what, the geekery, what, what, te what temperatures we boiled it out, what, what hops we're using, what grains we're using, yeah. rather than you know, we're using five different grains. You know, why are we using those yeah, grains yeah. And, yeah. and that sort of stuff? You understand that they've got to go to the appeal to the common denominator. Oh, they, cracky, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, they were making television, the lay were, person, the, yeah, they were making television. It yeah. was, yeah, it, 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 I think the product was, was brilliant. It's great to see yeah. someone like that on. I mean, it's not mainstream TV, you know, whatever. But it's quite service, uh, close to. But yeah, I mean, most people are used to having to go to you know YouTube, for example, for that kind of that kind of level of geekery, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. It? Yeah. Whereas, yeah, I mean, it's it's definitely a step in the right direction. I thought. Oh, it's, it's uh, great it's, to sit on there. It was a fascinating process, and yeah. I was uh, really, really pleased to be part of it. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. So we're going to be doing a brew day shortly. Um, yeah, and we're getting stuck into that, but yeah, we just wanted to start with a quick Q and A, just to do some of these questions that people, including ourselves, have been wanting to ask. <laughs> and, and the first question is just how did you how did you get on the show? Uh, it was completely by accident. In fact, it was a day very much like today. Um, I just finished brewing. Uh, I was sat literally the other side of the hedge there, um, enjoying a beer at the end of the evening. I was having a quick through Facebook, and there was a post that came up from one of the local brewers groups, I'm on Wessex Brewers Group, mm. and it said, has anybody seen this uh, this advert for this show? And I thought, oh, I wonder what questions they're asking. So I thought, I so I clicked on the link. Um, and it, was it like home brewers wanted? Well, it, no, it didn't really explain too much. It was right. it was classic clickbait. So literally, mm, it didn't give you any more information. And well, there's a picture of a girl on there. No, not quite. <laughs> <laughs> we we looked at different things. Right. Right. So you get to the end of the first page before you can see what the next questions are. So they wouldn't tell you what it was all about. Yeah. Um, and by the time I got to the end of it, the only thing I was left to do was take a photograph uh, and send it off. So I did. Yeah. Right. Um, and then I had to explain to my business partner at the time that we just entered this competition. Wow. Right. At what point is Richard, of course? Yeah, yeah, this is Richard. Yeah, yeah, he, he had no idea that yeah. I'd done it. So uh, right. I think it was a bit of a shock to him, but he, he took it with all good grace and yeah. threw himself into it. Yeah, was, that's was, good. good fun. How long have you been brewing up to that point? Uh, oh, so it was shot last year, but. Shot last year, so up till then, when I start about nine, uh, 18, 19. Mm. So yeah, three or four years. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. So not, not, not long con compared with some people, but. A bit longer than some others. Yeah. They, yeah. They, did they phone you for an interview? Was it a FaceTime thing just to, uh, to, uh, to make sure you weren't nuts? Literally, it was just yeah. or more nuts than you <laughs> well, are. Actually, funny, funny enough, one of the things that we had to do was um, later on in the process, once we got through, was actually a clinical. We had a, uh, an individual chat with a clinical psychologist just to manage expectations, just to especially with social media. Mm -hmm. You know, that, that people are, are going to you know people are going to turn and say we don't like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, yeah. It's it's not an it's they, they're not criticizing you it's just you hear that people positive comments positive only positive comments only you can put negative comments but they don't get read as long as they're directed at him because he's been trained <laughs> and he can handle it <laughs> but yeah that, I mean, that was fascinating just to, to manage those expectations yeah, yeah. Um, but the actual interview process um, was obviously because it was right slap bang in the middle of, of, of lockdown and Covid yeah. um, it was all done uh, online on Skype um, team, uh, Teams I think it was we used a couple of times um, yeah and that's where the interview was done we had a, an interview with the casting director um, sorry, the assistant. Then we had an interview with the casting director as well, which we got through that stage. Um, and then we had a, a technical Q and A with uh, one of the boffins from Stella. And that was to make sure you knew what you were doing. Yeah, just to, just so that we, yeah, because yeah, I mean, obviously, you want to make a TV show with 
that, that, that you, what you, I, I don't think they were looking for massively accomplished no. home brewers right. um, because that, 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 that wouldn't make good television. They yeah, want people yeah, who are yeah. still learning, willing to learn. He would make mistakes with pumps and that kind of stuff. <laughs> As we show that it's easy to do. So, yeah. Well, I made three or four in my last brew day, so yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, mm. it's said, the, the mistakes happen. Yeah. Um, mm. It's how you deal with those mistakes. Um, I think that was the. I get angry and stop throwing some abuse. I already made those kind of mistakes. And blaming more. other people. <laughs> Don't you? <laughs> what, you mean that the bit where I might have said we'll discuss afterwards? That's the bit. Us. Yeah, that's the bit. <laughs> the, um, yes, we knew at that point. <laughs> how um, how did it go with the timescales of everything? Did you brew? I was. I, I was. It was a su surprise in how it was. I mean, I, I thought it'd be like any of the other shows. Literally, challenge, go away, do the challenge, yep. be judged. One of you goes home and then do that. But they, um, because of the logistics and because brewing's not an instant process, you can. Yeah, if they if they wanted to, to do do it that way, you'd look about yeah a month between each episode. Mm -hmm. um, I think that, so. They took the decision that we, they were going to give us all the challenges um, in one go, all in one go. Um, then they came down, they filmed here, mm. did all the filming here, and then went back. You know, I don't think they'll mind me saying saying this. Went back and and did all the judging. Yeah. Uh, okay. So those beers weren't once they'd been finished and bottled. Those beers weren't tasted until the actual judges opened them. Yeah. So that so all the beers were bottled. That's worth. Yes, that's worth all, all bottled condition. So that last, uh, the, the last episode, the the Stella challenge, where we actually crack that bottle and we get that final pop. Yeah. That is genuine surprise from yeah, everybody yeah. because oh, we've okay. been criticised for the first couple for a lack of carbonation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. when that massive one, relief when that one went pop and it was such a loud pop, yeah, it, was just, yeah. it just sounded. I get fantastic. relief when there's a pop. Yeah. Save that for your other channel. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no idea where you're going with that. Did you? Did you? So, so you were what? Given sort of what? Ten hours of the day, or like a standard sort of working day to get it nailed. So there was a little bit of room for error, but not a great deal. Um, yeah. The, the, technically, there was there was room to brew everything twice if we needed to. Mm -hmm. So they gave us about, I think it was eleven hours. I think we were we were given. Um, and I, to be honest, honest, I don't think it would have been overly critical if we did have to go a little bit over mm, right um because i know i mean we were lucky all our so it wasn't like countdown we got a clock going doo -doo 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 -doo. <laughs> no no definitely not like that i mean right. we had a rough time that we'd started mm. um but obviously te television's television i mean sometimes i mean obviously the brewing process is linear it happens in a particular order yep. um obviously with filming they're going to want to retake stuff so sometimes you know we can't stop the brew process so that, mm. that has to carry on but some other stuff maybe so took a little bit longer so each day was a little bit longer than normally to make yeah yeah yep. brewing and things and i don't think they included washing up time after, no, did all that after you presumably found it a bit more pressured than you would were you just brewing for your own consumption um it, it to start with first couple we were quite quite high pressure but um mm. The, the guy that we had um, came down, the producer director Casey, who was filming everything. Um, after the first couple, we forgot he was there because he got used to them being around. And he get used. To, he got used to him being around, and he was just. He was just so. He was a. He was a very very competent cameraman, mm. and and he just made everything so much easier for us. So literally, we were just brewing and a lot of the chat that we it's just natural chat because yeah. we were just talking and yeah you didn't uh, find yourself making mistakes that you wouldn't normally make you think just the um, kind of usual stuff yeah i think so a couple of times we sort of lost concentration especially as we'd done the first couple you really lost, chair bit. yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was the last that came back to haunt me that <laughs> i don't think it made it to the actual film but yeah he did he did said maybe, uh, it was a comment that <laughs> yeah. maybe we spent less time in the deck chairs and maybe more time than we get better beer but, james Blunt, love your work <laughs> Yeah. So. Uh, mm. um, has, how did you? How do you generally work out your recipes for the show? Uh, I, we were given. Uh, there weren't strict recipe style parameters. Right. So the they it wasn't like uh, brew a, a double IPA and it's got to be in this style and that. It was it was more ideas for recipes. So okay. it's like brew a pills. And, and a target ABV. Uh, some or a them, range. Some, yeah, some of them had. Um, I think the Pilsner. I think yeah. So they they all had a, a range, but of sort of three or four percent. So there was there was a lot of scope to to, to play with. Okay. Play with. I think the Belgian quad adds between nine and twelve. Oh, okay. So we hit ten. I think I think we measured it at ten point seven. They measured it at ten point three or ten point yeah. four. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So there was it, there were rough guidelines, but it didn't have to be. 
a traditional Belgian quad or mm. it didn't have to be a traditional Pilsner if we wanted to put our own spins on it we weren't marked down for being outside was it BJCP or whatever it is yeah, 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 yeah. if we were outside of style it didn't matter <laughs> okay yeah, no, I think that was quite quite a nice yeah yeah quite a nice touch mm. to it so do you use the uh, the same app that you've been using that you'll be using with the Brulee today yes yeah I to design the, everything yeah so I use the Grain Feather app so I use it on the right. on the on the laptop to start with obviously because you, you can look at it screen basically yeah, yeah. start but I mean I have I have in the past done them on the on the phone and it's a very very simple app to use mm. put in the style you want um, and it comes up with a, a a bar graph on the right hand side and as you start putting hops and grains in it tells you the, the expected ABV yeah, yeah, yeah. what gravity finish, yeah. gravities you're going to finish with um, yeah the bitterness that you get in the yeah, IBUs yeah. and and all that and you can and you set the well out, hold on oh pardon me I've chosen a pilsner but it's far too bitter for a pilsner mm -hmm. Maybe that's what I want. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it, it gives you at least gives you. A, I mean, it doesn't say you can't brew this because mm. it's not in style guidelines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it gives you. It does give you good good guidelines too. Mm. So I know there are other apps out there to do, but yeah. I mean, that's what came with the machine. Yeah, yeah. It's so easy to use. Yeah. And once you've finished it on the on the laptop and you've saved it, instantly your phone connects to the. Yeah. Controller and it says I've never actually seen that working and, and, please, until today. Please so. add X amount of water. Please add grains at yeah, this yeah. point. Please add this amount of hops. Please do that, and it sets all the temperatures wow. and does it. Yeah, yeah. We'll you'll see later on. Yeah. So no one, no wonder you were in the deck chair all day. <laughs> <laughs> see, that's the problem. Isn't oh, yeah. it? When things go well, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, and but the problem is the act. When they do, it's all on the brew. Well, that's it. And the, the, the thing with the program, the only things we were filmed were the actual brew days. Mm. Um, we then had a the the the, 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 the fermentation periods. I mean, we did we did a lot of filming ourselves, but I don't think any of it ever got used. Yeah. Because uh, obviously we did. It was a different quality. Yeah, course, we were leading yeah. GoPros. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Were you asked to do that? Would you, yes. Would you no, no. We were asked to. Yeah, we were okay. doing a little GoPro to right. do, but I think mm. I think it was felt it didn't. Did you keep it? No. Mm, unfortunately, really. we had to give it all back. Uh, mm. it, I don't think the quality of the filming that we did fitted in with the quality of the the production yeah, for everything right. else. So it, I don't think any of it was used. Yeah. You um you had a couple of carbonation issues on the show. You want to tell us about that? Yes, I. I'm not here to throw stones, brother. No, 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 no. I, I no, no. I, it, 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 I, I wanted it to be. Your so, earlier beers. Yes. Well, I wanted it to be so perfect. I because up to that point we've been just adding table sugar. Mm -hmm. um, oh, uh, we just rate just standard table sugar. Is, yeah, just stand, standard table sugar to carbonate. Right. Um, and I'd had a couple that been over carbonate, and I thought, right, no, we need to really concentrate and get this spot on. So yeah. I went into using. Um, Liquid sugar, right? Um, so I knew oh, sugar syrup for cocktails. Sugar syrup. So yep. I knew exactly. Well, no, it's actually Belgian candy sugar, right. so the brewed sugar. Yeah. So I knew exactly how much sugar was in there, um, but I'd never done it before, and my mistake was not practicing it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I just undercarbonated it. Yeah, you know, just just didn't put enough in. Right. It's simple as that. It's just a very simple miscalculation on my yeah. behalf. Well, we've all been there. <laughs> yeah, that's it. It's and we will be there again. So. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, uh, it, I've had that issue a few times recently. Yeah, well, yeah. We both have. Yeah. yeah. I think have. that's the problem, isn't it? You, you, you brew, mm. you do something really well, and you think, I can do that again and yeah. again, and then things start to slide, and you can't work out why. Yeah. yeah. I like the drops. They're easy. Super easy. One drop, 500 mil bottle. Jobs are good. But then you can't. The problem is that you're, you're set. If it's with a lager too, you're set with that amount of sugar, though, aren't you? Mm. You say you're lager yeah, too, yeah. but then you, you just doubled it, and there's no sort of middle ground. Nope. You yeah. can't cut them in half, and that's that's what I'm going to go with from now on. And we'll. Yeah. Uh, and, and, <laughs> and, yeah, they, well, if I come unstuck on videos, they, people are going to know about yeah. it, and then they can throw stones. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. I've, ne I've never tried. I've, I, I said I've always batched, batched on it, so I do mm. it. Oh, right, per, okay. You know, so X amount. So per, yeah. Per, yeah, work out how much I've got that I want to do and chuck yeah. it all in the one into a bottling bucket. And in, then, yeah, and then yeah. just and then and, and then bottle from bottle from there uh, rather than putting each individual. So at least then I know a whole batch is yeah. exactly yeah. the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's that, that, that's the theory anyway. Mm. But as I said for the show, as I said, I tried to try to be clever basically mm. and got caught out. So. Oh, it happens. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. It happens. What Are about you, the, the test uh, yourself? Sorry, go on. Yeah. What about the hydrometer? The, 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 there was a few ABVs that were uh, that I know that the girls had. A, a couple of ABV uh, issues. That, that, that the, their first one, um, if if you watch carefully, you can see that um, Amy loses count of the amount of uh, the amount of sparge water she's added, yeah. and Michael was far too polite and didn't want to say so on camera. Oh really? Right. That, that that was that that was why it was. Aww. So they've you know, which is I mean, bless them, I mean, it was which was fantastic. They yeah. they they knew that that, yeah, was, sure. that was over. Um, but also, I mean, the the testing was done in laboratory conditions. Yeah, I mean we're using hydrometers. We're we're looking at a level of yeah liquid here, yeah, in a yeah. tiny little sight glass on tiny little writing. Yeah, uh, and you get one or two points 
wrong here mm. and then on the final gravity and all of yep. a sudden you know they, those, those mistakes are multiplied yeah. So yeah. isn't that the whole meniscus curve thing that's isn't that with yeah. that and then you think oh god well that's it you forget about that because yeah. it's actually in that and that could be half an ABV or possibly yeah. more yeah. sorry a half yeah. a percentage point yeah, yeah mm. so that's so yeah, so when they're the, they they actually sent it off to laboratories that actually tested them. Right, yeah, that is exactly what. It's yeah. Some guy with a white coat on has tested it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, in fairness, I think the or girl, the, the Belgians, I think were spot on virtually every time. Yeah. No, okay. Yeah. They, what was they, that? Did they use the hydrometer. They used, I think they used refractometer. Yeah, and I think they used the refractometer okay. to start and then a um, hydrometer yeah. at the end. Okay. Um, Sorry yeah. about the helicopter, by the way. Our, our, our people are hovering because it's going to be time to go out for lunch in a minute. <laughs> Getting the aerial shots. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> police helicopter. Yeah, yeah probably more than likely. <laughs> um, what does the what does the future hold in store for you now? Now you've been on the show. You've obviously you're on you're on people's radars, including yep. ours, which hence why we're here. Yep. Uh, well, uh, me and my family have started a, a, a new venture called Brewhouse Twelve. Right. Yeah. Because we're a BH12 here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. um, it's a good so name. We're we've we've started doing that. Um, we're already supplying um, a couple of clubs locally with draft beer. Cool. Um, so hopefully that continues. Um, we've got a couple of. Festival. So it's a microbrew of your own, basically. A little microbrew of our own, yes. Fancy a tap room? Yes. Do you? Yes, I do. I, we all fancy a tap room, don't well, we? I, I fancy having somebody run a tap room for me. Oh, right, that you can booze in. Uh, no, no, I just, I just want somewhere that I can brew beer right. and talk to people about beer. So you like to, you like to brew there? And, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, 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 don't, I don't think I want to have a, a pub or a club because... Mm. I mean, I've, I've worked in that industry before, and it's hard. It's hard, hard work. Yeah, yeah, anybody, yeah. anybody that does work in it, hats off. To oh, you. It's, yeah, it's, it is. It's hard. It's hard work. It's, hard work. it's yeah. you, you give your whole life to yeah. it. Yeah. I want to be able to brew. You know, maybe stop and have a chat with a few, po you know, punters coming in, have a chat, and a, and a bar manager. Take yeah, over. yeah. That that would be that would be heaven. Mm. Uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. And obviously, selling mail order. That's the plan. Mm. That's the plan. Eventually, soon. so we can add a link to, to, the, to the description in the video, so yes. that people, if they want to buy your uh, your wares, yes. they can do. Yep. We're um, keep, look out for us on Instagram at Brewer by the Beach. That yep. it'll be announced then. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm just in the process of. L licensing. Link on Insta is in the description. Yep. Just in the process of licensing. Yep. Um, to be able to sell it by post, because I didn't realise you actually have to license where it's being sold from. Doesn't matter where oh, it is, right, but okay. that place has got to be licensed. Right. Um, so yeah, I've got to put adverts in the local paper. Yeah. And, it's all yeah, good yeah. fun, isn't it? It's all good fun. So hopefully, yes, soon we'll be able to uh, sell our Aquila and yeah. Aquila Extra. Home brewers love recipes. They love to, to, to play around with recipes that they've yeah. seen on YouTube, on, on Beer Masters, wherever, where they've you know, read in books and so on. And one of the, one of the critiques from home brewers was that they didn't publish, uh, they didn't put any of the recipes out there, any of the specifics of any of the brews. Yep. Uh, but you've already kindly emailed me a couple. Yes, you um, got the the one that we were doing today. Yep. Got that recipe mm. and also our silver medal beer. Yep, which the, is the one I've just finished here. That's the one uh, just the quad. finished there. Yeah, so that, that's... Brilliant beer. 10.2%? Probably have a go ten, myself. Ten, that one comes out 10.1. 10 10.1. 10 mm. Yeah, that's a, that's a re remake of it, but yeah. yeah. So, uh, and yeah, that's yeah. a very, very good beer. Mm. Please feel free to brew them. Let us know how you get on. Thank you. Um, yeah, so if somebody could do a kit that could be sold with it yeah that, that'd be amazing yeah, yeah. if only we knew somebody absolutely well so uh, <laughs> scratching my yeah, head. yeah me too actually I'm excited about your your beer calendars as well yeah is that something we can talk about is yeah, that, yeah 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 so we, we, we did it last year mm. um we're gonna do it again this year um 24 beers for christmas yeah um, hopefully now we've just Why not 25? Why not one for Christmas Day? Do you think everyone's got so much grog in the house already they don't need one? Uh, yeah, I think that's it. I mean, traditionally, advent calendars yeah, are already 20. 24. No, I've had some that have been 25 and you get a massive, like, on a chocolate advent, you get like a... This isn't really important for this video. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I don't know! <laughs> These are arguing advent people. calendars. <laughs> Look, come Stop 24. scrimping and get 25 on your advent calendar. <laughs> well, unfortunately, the box... The bo I know why it is. The box comes in, t in 24 little sections because it's 6 by 4 uh, right. there yeah, you go. Otherwise, yeah, there wouldn't be space yeah. to. I yes. thought it would be a great idea is you just have a can every day, and then on the 25th, you have a wine sized bottle. <laughs> I'll give that to Brewdog and anyone listening for free. <laughs> Copyright to Messenger 20%. Um, the, the only other final question for me is just about the. the, the, the I suppose one of the other criticisms is, is, is the fact that all the beers were quite continental in orientation, quite Benelux. Um, <laughs> It, they, they were styles that we haven't brewed a great deal in the past. They mm. were out of our comfort zone, especially yeah. the Pilsners. Um, that was that was hard work um, trying to get that right. I've, I tried to, you know, largers and various descriptions. 
and struggled massively with it. Um, yeah, I was really pleased with the first one. Um, the when we were in the two, the same. Mm. Um, the second one, I, I, we had a slight airlock issue, so some oxygen got into it, which is why it was deep darker in colour. Flavour changed ever so slightly to it, which is why there was the, the, the difference in two. The first one, yeah. if we could have brewed that twice, I was happy. But yeah, it was it was very very. Yeah, it's a Benny Lux centred, mm. you know, Abbeys and yeah. you know, Belgian quads. Yeah, it, yeah. Was, it was, yeah, it was fun, don't get me wrong. Chal very yeah, challenging. Yeah. Very, yeah. very challenging. Showing your versatility as a brewer. I, I think I think that really did, we did, it, it did push us. Mm. It did push us. I mean, I had to do a lot of research and a, yeah, lot, of, a lot of YouTubing, a lot of, you know, what, what ifs, can I do this? You know, has anybody done this? Yeah. 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 Oh, we got there. Yeah. So I was pleased, pleased with the results. Yeah. No, it's great. No, you, you, you did very well. Yeah, what, was and it we three top it. three ranking beers? Was it one uh, one silver, one uh, sorry, one silver, two bronze? Yes, is that right? Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Great. We started off with two bronzes, and uh, yeah, I was thinking, oh, we're gonna we're gonna yeah, go yeah. from there. Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah we went from. But like you said, you did come in second place to the eventual winning beer. So yes, mm. yeah, and 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 I was talk talking to uh, the the the, the head brewer of, of Herzog Jan. Um, and I think he was fighting for our beer oh. all the way through. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah I think we, we lost you out. heard by it here first, should have won. Yeah. <laughs> lost, I think we lost out by a mark. So, yeah, yeah it's yeah, an right. eventual winner. So, uh, mm. I mean, it's not a style that I think is massive, he's, he's got mass appeal. Um, it's a style of beer that beer geeks will love. Yeah. 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 I you know, wish them best of luck because yeah. I mean, their, their beer was a cracking beer. That's what I like that it was such a friendly contest as well. You were. You were you all came oh. across as getting I don't know, so like the well. apprentice where it's all cat against dog. Yeah, no, yeah. no, no, no. This, I mean, but this, this smashing it, each other with mash paddles. But this, <laughs> this shows us what the, how how the brewing industry is different from the vast majority of other industries. Yeah, yeah. Um, brewers are happy to share recipes. Yeah. If stuff goes wrong, if I've run out of hops, mm. yeah, I can phone up another brewer and say, look, I don't suppose you've got. I can buy some of these off you. Not me. You, you do, do your that, own. Do that. Yeah, that's it. Do that <laughs> yeah. in any other industry. They'll say no, no, yeah, no I'm yeah, not yeah. even going to help you out because it's where it's brewing. And this showed in the show how. What a, what a fantastic environment it is yeah. to, to, to brew in and just to be part of. Yeah, so. yeah. The thing is with brewing, it's a constantly evolving thing. No one is the finished article, no matter where they are, what brewery they run. You never, you, it's always a school day. Mm. Yes. Um, yeah, and, and, and I, I guess know, that's part of the reason. Every brewer knows how hard it is as well and the challenges you face, and yeah. they're willing to help somebody yeah, out yeah. In, a, in a position. Yeah, they're and they're how irritated you get to when you, when, when you try your beer and it's crap. Mm. <laughs> like, yes. <laughs> Everyone's yeah. been there. I've made some. I've made some awful beer. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think there's only two that I've had to throw away because they yeah. were they were unpalatable. Um, but yeah. Yeah. You. I, I, but then I've made some really good beer. Well, yeah. I think yeah. Really good beer. Yeah. So. Yeah. Oh, the beers we've had today have been great. Really yeah, enjoying. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Sign me up for an advent calendar. <laughs> With 25 days. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no, generally. 20, yeah. 24, I'll have two in, yeah. right? We'll compromise on that, yeah. mate. So, yeah, hope, hopefully this year it's all going to be cans. I mean, yeah, we bought bottles okay. last year. Because uh, you've got a cannula here, haven't you? We've got a cannula mm. now, so we can start canning. Um, yeah. yeah. Cans are where it's at. Okay. I know I'm going to get some abuse thrown for that. Well, things, things evolve. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. They, they, I mean, do people say that you, sh you shouldn't drink beer out of can because it tastes different. Well, put it in a glass. Yeah. You don't, yeah. You don't have to drink it out no, of the no. can. The, a can yeah. is perfectly hermetically sealed. Mm. There's no light getting in. No. There's no oxygen mm -hmm. getting in. It's the perfect can. It's fresh. Thing. So it's fresh. More environmentally friendly, unless you're reusing the bottles, which yeah. a lot of home brewers I'm, do. I'm, I have reused bottles yeah. in the yeah, past. Same. Yeah, you know, you, know you, you try and wherever possible. Yeah. Um, but I mean, aluminium is infinitely recyclable. Yeah. Yeah. yeah as long as you, as long as you don't just landfill it. Yeah, yeah, it's brilliant stuff. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <coughs> That's all my questions. Yeah, same, same to you. Excellent. Yeah, thank you very much. No, yeah, no. well, um, con congratulations on the show and, and, and everything that you've it. achieved through that. And well, good, good, good luck with the uh, with the YouTube channel. <laughs> thank you, <laughs> thank you. Um, to bigger and better things. Well, yeah, well, yeah just well, I don't know. Just, uh, <laughs> just just keep on plugging away. <laughs> That's it. Um, That's it. Yeah, but we wish you continued success in in, in the new venture, and uh, cool. we'll we'll uh, we'll hope to see you again on the channel. Sure. Yes. Yeah. We're gonna arrange a return leg, aren't we? Where you well, come to our house. Yeah, and also come come down because I've got that 200 litre brew kit. Done. And mm. we'll do it. We'll do it on a big brew. We'll do a, yeah. an industrial brew for the day. Oh yeah, that'd be brilliant. Done. Yeah. Also, awesome. thanks very much. Well, that's uh, si us signing off in pool. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks to Mike. More than welcome. Thanks to the sunshine. <laughs>